Today on Plating It with Wendy, we are making prawn bao cha. This sweet, tangy, spicy, aromatic dish, previously eaten during the monsoons, is now enjoyed all year round. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you want to try out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit on that bell icon, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to go in with 30 Kashmiri red chilies. And we like using the Kashmiri chilies because they have that lovely red color to them. And we're going to de-seed 15 of them, which means we're just going to snip off the top and then slit it and remove the seeds from inside. Now this is going to reduce the spice. We are using those 15 just for their color. Let's transfer these into a bowl. And to that we're going to add one whole head of garlic, which is about 12 to 15 cloves of garlic. And we're just going to roughly chop them down. And if all the garlic cloves are big, then you can go in with 12. Otherwise 15 would be a good number. Let's add this to the bowl with the chilies. And to add to the earthy flavors, we're going to go in with one and a half inch piece of ginger. And we're going to roughly chop that up as well. We're going to toss the ginger in along with the chilies and the garlic. And we're going to soak all this in three fourth cup of red wine vinegar. Now if you have goa vinegar, that would be really great. But otherwise, a good substitute is red wine vinegar. Now let's just give this a mix. that it all gets the vinegar on it and give it a slight press down so that it soaks up the vinegar. Now let's leave this bowl aside and season the prawns. And now we're going to go in with two pounds which is approximately 900 grams of prawns. And I have cleaned them which basically I've shelled them, de-weighed them, washed them and pat dried them. We're going to season them with quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder half a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder and you can add salt to taste and I'm going to go in with about a teaspoon of salt. Now let's just give it a mix so that the spice and the salt gets onto every prawn. And now we're going to cover the prawns up with a plastic wrap and keep them aside to marinate while we bring together our spice mix. Into the jar of the stand mixer we're going to add in the chilies, the garlic and the ginger that we had kept soaking in the vinegar. And we're going to pour in the vinegar along with it. And with our mixer at a medium speed, we're going to bring this together to a fine paste. And once you've got a fine paste, you're going to add two teaspoons of cumin to the jar. And to that, we're going to add and a one and a half inch stick of cinnamon, one teaspoon of peppercorns, and I'm going to add 20 cloves to that. And now we're going to add two teaspoons of turmeric powder. And now to help it all come together into a fine paste, we're going to add quarter cup of red wine vinegar and we can add more as we go. Now once again on a medium speed, let's bring this together into a fine paste. And I'm going to add another quarter cup of vinegar to bring it together. Our spice mix is all ready. And this is what you're looking for, that lovely rich texture. To a heated skillet, we're going to add about a quarter cup of oil. And now we're going to put in half the quantity of the prawns into the pan. I want to make sure that all of them touch the pan so you get a good sear. We're ready to flip the prawns over and sear them on the other side. You want to make sure you don't overcook them. You just want to cook them till they're about 30 to 40 percent cooked on each side. Because we're going to finish cooking them in our spice mix. The prawns are seared on both sides. So now let's take them out and put them onto a plate. Just going to drizzle in a little more oil before searing the second batch. About two tablespoons. If you want it, you can even sear it in three batches or four batches. We're 
When making prawn bao cha, I always like to use small to medium sized prawns. And there we have finished searing all the shrimp. Prawn bao cha is basically a pickle, so you need to add a lot of oil to it. So we're going to add in half a cup of oil. And if you need to, you can always add a little more. We're going to give it a light shake so that all the oil mixes together and we've got that lovely flavor of the shrimp already there. And now we're going to add in quarter teaspoon of mustard seed. And once the mustard seeds begin to splutter, it's time to add in one sprig of curry leaves. We're just going to add in only the leaves. And to that, we're going to add half an inch of garlic, which I finely chopped. And you can add three or four big cloves of garlic. And I've gone with three cloves. And I'm just going to saute this till they fry well. And two green chilies, which I finely chopped. Now let's saute this for just 30 seconds. And we're going to add in one finely chopped red onion, which is about 200 grams. And we're going to saute them till they caramelize and turn golden brown. The onions are looking nice and caramelized. So now it's time to toss in our spice mix. And we're just going to saute the spice mix for about two minutes before we add in the shrimp. The oil has started separating from our spice mix, which means that it is getting well cooked. Now let's add in the shrimp. And we're going to make sure to pour in all those juices that are left behind in the plate. Now let's give this a mix. And we're going to cook it till the prawns are cooked right through, say for about four to five minutes. And to that, we're going to add two and a half tablespoons of sugar. And this is going to balance off all that vinegar that we had added in. So we get a nice, sweet, spicy, tangy flavor. Wow, this is looking so delicious. I can't wait to give it a taste. Although prawn balcha has to be kept for at least 15 to 20 days before you enjoy it. The flavors have to really mature for it to taste its best. I'm gonna finish it off with just a tad bit more of salt. The prawns are all cooked. And the oil has started coming to the surface, which means that our prawn bao chow is now ready and it's time to take it off the heat. You want this to cool completely before you bottle it. And yes, we know it has to remain for about 15 to 20 days before it tastes its best. But we're going to give it a taste right away because we cannot wait. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. This prawn balchon is absolutely delicious and I cannot wait to enjoy it after it has matured well. And if you want the full written recipe, don't forget, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.